In this video, we're going to quickly go over how to work and create patterns. Now, uh, check out down below in the description, and there is a link to the company weekly blog post. And you can totally visit my website. There's a link below in order if you'd like to download and use these free vector daisy outlines. Okay, so here goes. You can see in here on this side, I've created a pattern, a repeating pattern. Uh, and Illustrator CS6 and CC makes it super easy working with the pattern options in order to do this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually copy some of these little elements over here. Edit, copy, edit, paste, and bring them on over here. I'm just going to do it randomly. Command C, Command V to copy and paste. And what's really great is once we have them in here, we can also work with the pattern options and move them around. So we don't need to worry so much if it's not quite perfect. Now what I have over uh, on this new artboard over here is I've taken what we have. Sorry, sometimes it's hard to grab this guy. I'm going to zoom in. I'm trying to do one thing, more than one thing at a time. Right, so what I'm doing is I'm turning this into a little square and then repeating it. So actually maybe I'll just keep it this small. And um, I kind of, I like this one a lot though. So I'm going to copy this one, bring it over. All right, so let's go right about into here. Now what I want to do is I'm going to take my artboard. I'm going to make this a little bit smaller. I have it 2.5 by 2.5. Let's go into 2.0, 2.0. All right, and then I'm going to move this over. Actually, I'll hit escape. I'm going to select these guys right here and move them on in a little bit more. Perfect. Okay. Now, what I want to do in order to turn this into a pattern, and I actually am going to bring this in just a little bit more, although it won't make that much of a difference, just to see where we are. Okay. Now, in order to turn this into a pattern, this is what I want to do. I want to select all these objects and I'm going to take them and I'm going to drop them right into the swatches. Voila. Now what I want to do is I'm going to hit create a new pattern. So I hit here and I'm going to say Daisy. I'll hit OK. And there I have it. Now what I want to do is I want to come in and edit it and you know make it really kind of happen here. So I'm going to double click on in and now I can see and I'm actually in the pattern editing, pattern creating thing. And I can tell that I'm here because when I look up at this panel, I can see that I am in the daisy pattern. I can save a copy. I can hit that I'm done. When I hit, when I'm, when I hit that I'm done, it will save what I've changed. Now, taking a look at this, I can see I have all of these different objects to make a repeating pattern. So I can place it on a grid. I can do brick by bricks, like bricks in a home, the rotating. I can do the brick offset by a quarter. Now, when I look here too, I have it set at five by five. I can make it less if I wanted to. I could say three by three. I can see that a little bit better, a little bit differently. Um, I actually uh, do like seeing a little bit more. Uh, I prefer five by five, so I can see it a little bit more. I could also come in and say, base it on a hex, okay? on a shape. Uh, I could also base it hex by row, so rows versus columns. Now there's other things that we can do as well. Uh, you know, we could play around with the width and the height. So let's take a look at that. If I take change this one to 1.1, the width, everything comes in a little bit closer. Okay. I can also switch the um, save tile to art and I can play around with the spacing. So if I wanted to put a little bit more spacing I can do it that way. Um, now I could also come in and put a negative here and it will make things kind of overlap. Um, that's actually totally a little bit too much. And I can see that when I did that as well, that um, this had, that was locked. So let's get rid of this one. And change it up. All right, so really, you know, limitless, Things to do here. Okay, so let's go back a little bit. All 
All right, so there we have it, a little bit of space. Now you can also uh, overlap some of the shapes. Now these ones are really far apart, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, but this one you can have like the bottom in front, top in front, all that different stuff based on your uh, patterns. And there we pretty much have it, very easy um, and very cool. We can also click the pattern tile tool and then we can come on in and start working with what's inside of here. So I can come in and, you know, start even working when I hit that pattern tile tool, start working with the actual shape, which is kind of cool too. Um, so a lot of different ways sometimes to do the same thing. What's cool about coming in and clicking on to the pattern tire tile tool is you can then work with it just as it is. You can see even that the numbers in the H and the V space are changing as well. All right, when I'm all done, I'm going to hit done. Okay. And I'm going to delete this all out. This is just kind of is what it is. And then if I wanted to, I could use this pattern. And here it goes. Let's take a look at how that happens. I'm going to come on in. I'm going to create a new artboard. Let's say that I wanted to do an overall pattern. Um, I'm going to keep it that size. I could grab my shape tool, my rectangle tool, and I'm going to click. And there we have it. There is my repeating pattern done very easily. And uh, you can see how you edit it. Again, the, only, the way that you want to edit this is to just double click. Sorry about that. Um, you should double click in on the pattern. Um, but let me come on in and we can do that even through the swatches. And you can edit it as much as you'd like to. Change the colors. Possibilities are endless. Thanks for listening and visit my website, download the file, read the blog. All the links are below and come back for weekly blogs. Thanks for listening.